Uh, so hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we are going to see how to create a pipeline. Uh, so how to create a batch pipeline using the cloud data fusion. And then how to trigger that pipeline. So as you can see on my screen, this is the pipeline which I have already created using the data fusion, uh, uh, which is there in the GCP. And then how to trigger the data fusion pipeline from the cloud composer, which is the managed air flow service available in the GCP. So in this pipeline, what I am doing, so you can see, uh, you can see here. So this is the, uh, so I have already deployed the pipeline and as you can see here, so the pipeline has uh, already run the successfully. And if you see the properties, so here to this pipeline, I'm passing the file name as an argument. Uh, so from the composure, from the DAG, I'm passing this file name to this pipeline. And in this pipeline, so here, as you can see, uh, I'm extracting the data from the GCS bucket. And this is the file name. The file name I'm passing dynamically from the from the uh, Airflow DAG using the runtime algorithm. And then after uh, passing the file name, so here you can uh, see is the wrangling. So wrangling is the section where we can do the data transformation. So we can apply the any transformation steps on the wrangling. So as you can see in the input schema, I am getting the data. So basically I'm passing the data in text format. And then after that, uh, in the wrangling uh, section or in the wrangling block, I have added some of the transformation steps. Uh, so you can do the wrangling in the uh, data fusion studio. And then after that, so this is the schema which which I am getting, or these are the fields which I am getting in my output of this wrangling uh, section. And then also here I am sending the error report. So based on one of the column, so as you can see, there is one column uh, with the name IBU. So if the value on that column is empty, then all those rows I am sending to the error report. So basically, the error report I am uh storing in this bucket so i'm storing the error report in this uh, bucket and then uh, in the cloud data fusion so uh so cloud data fusion is a low code etl tool and if somebody does not know uh, any scripting language any python or sql still they can create the pipeline end-to-end -end using the data fusion in the data fusion, there are multiple sections are available. So if I go to my studio, so basically you need to create uh, the pipeline here and here you can create either batch or the real time pipeline. So in the data fusion studio, you can develop your pipeline. And as you can see on the left hand side, there are section for sources, transformation, analytics, and the sync and error handling as well. So uh, for my pipeline, what I have done, I have extracted, a, I have used the uh, GCS source block from where I have extracted the data. And then I have extracted, uh, so I have uh, used this wrangling transformation. Okay. And then here, uh, whatever the error records, so I'm storing and uh, that error record through the error collector. I'm storing this all this error report in the GCS location, okay, and then the final uh, all the good records are stored in the BigQuery table. So this is how I have created my pipeline. And once you create your pipeline, so uh, in order to run the pipeline, you can you need to deploy your pipeline. And you will see the cloud data fusion in the background. It is, it is using the data proc cluster. So 
before deploying the pipeline also you can go to review and you can do a dry run of your pipeline from end to end and you can preview the data in each of this section in in, in each of these blocks okay so after uh once the pipeline dry run is completed and uh, so dry run is uh like it, you uh the, you need to ensure that the dry run is successful then you can go ahead and deploy your pipeline so once the pipeline is deployed as you can see here so this pipeline is already deployed and i'm passing the argument here the file name uh which is the runtime ag argument i am passing to this pipeline and if i go to my DAG or the uh, cloud composure environment which i have created so here on this cloud composure environment i have already uh so once you create the cloud composure environment you will get the link for the DAG folder or the DAG bucket and the airflow ui link so on this UI, you can see the DAG which I have already uploaded to my DAG folder. So once you will upload the DAG to the DAG folder, and then the DAG will be appear on the Airflow UI. So on the DAG, uh, on the Airflow UI, you can go to the code to see what is the what this code is doing. Okay. So as you can see here, I just have the uh, Airflow Cloud Data Fusion Start Pipeline Operator, which I am using. And then in this operator, uh, I have specified in which location I'm going to run my pipeline and then in which, uh, what is the task ID? And then this is the argument or this is the file name. So I'm passing to my pipeline. So that is how I'm triggering this pipeline. And you can see the pipeline has run complete uh, successfully. And you can see the out of 2411 record from the input file, uh, around 1005 records uh, went into the error report. And then the remaining records are written into the BigQuery uh, data set, BigQuery table. So you can go to uh, BigQuery table. can go to the BigQuery table and you can validate that. So uh, inside the BigQuery, uh, inside the data fusion. So this is the table which I created. There's some time I go I created this table and this is the partition table which I am pre I have created and you can see the data here on this table. So that is how like you can trigger the uh, data fusion pipeline from the airflow uh, tag as well. So there are uh, apart from this operator there are many other operators uh, related with cloud data fusion are also available. Uh, which you can use in order to interact with the cloud data fusion pipeline. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you.